made with Learn Easy Guitar Tunes. Hey, let's go ahead and chime in. Make a comment below and tell me, what do you think? Was the 90s the best year for country? Was the 80s the best? Was the 70s? How about the 2000s? What do you think about modern country music? Well, anyway, make a comment below. Today we got a great one, Brooks and Dunn with Boot Scoot and Boogie. We only got three chords and we're not going to waste any time. Let's get right into it. Let's take a look at first how we do that, that little bit of a shuffle thing with just the uh, strings. And then we'll go into the chords and show you a way that you can do this. This is a really easy song if you want to do the chords. This is a little bit more of an intermediate lesson if you want to do the shuffle part. You start with an E and what you're going to do is you're going to have your finger here on the second fret of the fifth string. And then you're going to have the E string, number six, open. You're going to take your middle finger and it's going to come down here on the third fret of the sixth here in a second, but you're going to go two on open E, so then you're going to go one on third fret of six, so it's going to be, now you're going to add your ring finger and it's going to go like this. Then, where your finger's at here on two of five, you're going to go like this. That's going to be two on that one. And then, you're going to have your ring finger on four of five. It's going to be one beat on four, and then back to two. So it's going to be like this. Then you're going to move your finger down one string and you are going to play on the fifth and fourth string. That's going to be an A and you're going to do the exact same pattern. So we don't need to go over that because it's the same thing. And then back to the E. Then for the B, you're going to move down here with your ring finger and it's going to be on two on five have two beats on that and then you're gonna have one on the first fret or you have your index finger on one of the first fret of what would be four so it's gonna be two beats on each one of those then you're gonna stretch your pinky all the way out here to four on four like this Then you're going to have your index finger down here on one of three. And it's going to go like this. Each one of those has two beats to it. Let's go slow. All together. Now there is a part in there where it goes boot, scoot, and boogie, where he goes. So you're on that second fret of that fifth string, you're gonna lift off. And that's how you get back to the E. Now let's go ahead and look at the chords. So the chords we're gonna need, obviously we've already talked about the different patterns there. So it's obviously E, A, and B7 as you see up there. It's the same thing over and over. Strum pattern is going to be and you're 
gonna stay on the E for quite a while. So let's just go ahead and we'll just assume this beginning. And I'll tell you where the chords come in. Out in the country, city limit signs. There's a honky tonk, meet the county line. The joint starts jumping every night when the sun goes down. Getting ready to go to a B. They got whiskey, women, music, and smoke. It's where all the cowboy folk go. So you have to jump back to that A, just like I told you on the individual stairs. So you're going to go. Then there's going to be another verse, which is the exact same thing. It's the same pattern. We don't need to go over that. Then you're going to go up to the uh, chorus, which is going to start on A. Now, there is something here you can do if you'd like. You can take your open string here, and you can go. That's two beats on open, two beats on second fret of six, two beats on third fret of six, two beats on fourth fret of six. And then right into the A. So it's not like this. Come out of that. Boop, scoot, boogie. Hey, yo, toe, do si do. Come on, baby, let's go. Boop, scoot, A. We're going to boogie. Get down, turn around. That's just going to go back to the verse progression while they do a solo. Then they're going to go into another verse, and then they're going to go into another chorus, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's not really a hard song, as long as you get that strum pattern down. If you want to, you can slow it down. It's almost a back and forth. switch from that B7 to the A, I would suggest just dropping your middle finger down to the next string, which would be, sec be the second fret on four, and just put these two fingers down. So you can just go like this. And just like anything else, I would practice trying to get those transitions to those chords down and then start introducing a little bit of the strumming. But I would also make sure that whatever you do down here on your chords, do not stop down here on your strumming. Hey, congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now you can rewind it and start it again and practice a little bit more. Hey, I do appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate you liking and sharing and commenting. And you know what? No matter what, press on through and keep on picking.